The next special triangle segment we're looking at is the median. The median is a segment which connects the vertex with the midpoint of the side opposite that vertex. So if I take vertex C and I look at segment AB, D is the midpoint. So this segment right here, CD, is the median. Now you can create several medians, and again I'm going to use my uh, GeoGebra, which will go ahead and mark some midpoints for me. And I'm going to make all three medians. It's really quite simple. All you do is go vertex to midpoint, vertex to midpoint, and vertex to midpoint. If I move these uh, pieces around, you can see even when the triangle is right or obtuse, it always intersects in the center of the triangle. In fact, the point of intersection is always inside of the triangle. And it's actually called the center of gravity of the triangle. Apparently, if you were to put a pencil or you were to try to balance this triangle and you supported it right under that point of intersection, it would balance. So some strategies for working with medians. Well, we know they create congruent segments. So we're just going to set up an equation where each half of the segment is equal to each other and solve it. In this problem, we're going to find the perimeter of triangle WXY and triangle WXZ. I know that WX or XW is an altitude, so that means that's a 90 degree angle there. And I know WZ is a median. So the first thing I'm going to do, if that's a median, that means this segment XZ is congruent to ZY. So I can set up an equation that 4 equals 5A minus 6. Solving for A, I'm going to get A is 2. Now I can substitute that back in to find WX, which is 3. And I already know that ZY is going to be 4, by the way. Now, this gives me this triangle, WXZ. So I can find the perimeter. Well, first of all, I need to find WZ. So I'll use the Pythagorean theorem since I know that's a right angle. WZ is 3 squared plus 4 squared. You might remember this as one of our triples. It's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. Now I'm going to look for WY. Well, I know, well, first of all, I've got to do my perimeter. Sorry, 3 plus 4 plus 5 is 12, so the perimeter of this triangle is 12. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the next triangle. And I know that this is 3 and that's 8. So using Pythagorean theorem, I get that this length is square root of 73. So the perimeter of the green triangle will be 3 plus 8 plus square root of 73, or 11 plus square root of 73. It's okay to have a whole number plus a square root as an answer. Uh, if I want a decimal, I'll tell you to give me a decimal approximation, and I'll let you know what place value I want on that. So, for further reflection, what do medians of triangles create?